Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. Today, I have a uh, Stratomatic card and dice game for you. It is not Mismatch Monday. I actually got a comment from somebody that said that they liked the... Um, they liked the Braves game that I did, the 1982 Braves game that I did with my buddy Chris Dufour. The 82 Braves taking on the, uh, I believe it was like the 91 Red Sox. And uh, somebody mentioned that they would like to see more. They like Mismatch Monday, but they would like to see more games from just between two regular teams from back in the day. So that's what we've got today. We're going to take the 1986 San Francisco Giants, who are 83 and 79 in third place in the NL West. And they're going to go up against the Cincinnati Reds of 1977, who were second place in the NL West at 88 and 74. So two closely matched teams. Uh, the pitching matchup today will be Mike Kruko for the 1986 Giants and um, Tom Seaver, Tom Terrific for the, um, the uh, Reds, the 1977 Reds. So uh, with all of that having been said, I think we should get on with the game. I will go over the lineups as usual as uh, the lineups come up. Uh, for the San Francisco Giants, they're going to have Chili Davis in center leading off. Jeff Leonard will bat second and play left field. Will Clark will be the first baseman batting third. Candy Maldonado will bat in the cleanup spot and play right field. Bob Brenly will be the catcher batting fifth. Chris Brown will be at third base and batting sixth. Rob Thompson will be the second baseman batting seventh. Jose Uribe will be the shortstop batting eighth. And in the ninth spot, Mike Kruko, who is a two-hitting pitcher. So with that, we're going to get underway. Uh, the Giants lineup, as I said, is facing Tom Terrific, Tom Seaver. So here's Chili Davis. He gets a 4-10, and he would be batting left, and that is a ground ball to the shortstop. The Cincinnati shortstop is a 1-E-12, and uh, that is a 5, so I'm going to guess that that's um, pretty much an out, and it is. So he goes 6-3, to three, and Jeff Leonard is the batter. With one down, and he gets a 6-6, six, six, and that is going to be a double. So Jeff Leonard ripping a double off of Seaver. And let me make sure that you can see that chip. Let me here, let me put it here just so that you can see it a little better. Man at second, one down, and Will Clark up. Will the thrill. And he gets a 1-5 against a righty. That's going to be a ground ball to second base. He goes 4-3. That's two away. And the batter is now Candy Maldonado, the cleanup hitter. And he gets a 5-3 batting right. And that will be a ground ball to the pitcher. He is a... 3E6, that is an 8. Probably going to be on the E6 rating. Um, yes, it is. It's going to be a, on the E6 error rating for Seaver, and that is a 12. And that will be an E2. It's a two-base error and allows the runner on second to score. So that is a key error by Seaver. And that brings up the catcher, Bob Brenly. And he gets a, we're going to call that a 5. It's a 5-10 batting right. That's a ground ball to third. The third baseman for Cincinnati is a 3-E-18. That might be a single double asterisk. That might just be. It is a single double asterisk and another run scores.
And that brings to the plate Chris Brown, a third baseman. And he gets a 5-6 batting right, and that is a strikeout. So finally they get three outs, but not before the Giants score two runs in the top of the second. And so I'll have to go get my two for the Giants. They already have a 2-0 lead. Seaver gives up a hit, and there was an error, and uh, two runs score, but neither one of them is earned. That's the way I've got it. And so let's go over the Reds lineup, because they're coming up. They'll face Kruko, and here's the lineup that's going to go up against Kruko. Joe Morgan will lead off and play second base. Ken Griffey Sr. will play right field, batting second. Pete Rose will bat third and play third. George Foster is in the cleanup spot, and he's the left fielder. Johnny Bench will be at the catcher position and, and batting fifth. Dan Dreesen will bat sixth. He's the first baseman. Batting seventh is Cesar Geronimo, and he will be the center fielder. Dave Concepcion is the shortstop batting eighth, and of course Tom Seaver in the ninth spot. And we'll see if we even get to Seaver because he just gave up two runs in the first inning. But Joe Morgan is the batter, and he gets a 110 against Kruko, who is a righty, and that's going to be a pop out to second. One down, and Ken Griffey is the batter. He gets a 2-2, and that's going to be a ground ball, second base, plus injury. The injury is a 4, though. I think that's only temporarily injured and remains in the game, and it is. But he does pop out. Let's see, what was that? A uh, Or a ground ball. He grounds out to second. So there's two down quickly, and we are in the bottom of the first. And Pete Rose is And Pete Rose gets a 6-10. He would be batting left, and that is a ground ball to the third baseman. That's Chris Brown. He is a 3-E-28. That is a 19. Probably going to be an out, and it is. So he goes out 6-5-3. Or five, three. And uh, the Reds get no runs in the first. We go to the top of the second where the Reds are enjoying a two-run lead, mainly because of bad fielding on the part of the uh, Reds in the first inning, and Rob Thompson is the batter. He gets a 4-9, and uh, that is a fly ball to left. One down. Jose Uribe. Uribe gets a 6-6. He would be batting left, and that is going to be a fly ball to center field. So two fly, two quick fly outs, and that brings up Kruka. And he gets a 3-9, and that is going to be a ground ball to first. Bottom of the second inning. We move along. It is 2-0 Reds or 2-0 Giants. With the Reds coming up, Foster is the batter. He gets a 3-7. That is going to be a fly out to center field. Now, coming into this game, I would have expected the Reds to win the game, and they might still. It's only 2-0, but they are not off to a very good start. Johnny Bench is the batter. He gets a 2-6. That's going to be a strikeout. Kruko strikes out. Now the first man to strike, or no, 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 there was another strikeout. Uh, Seaver had a strikeout, but he strikes out his first man of the game. And Dan Dreesen is out. And Dan Dreesen gets a 2-3, which is a walk. So the Reds have a man aboard. Kruko walks a man. And Cesar Geronimo is up, and he gets a 6-7 batting left. That's a strikeout. 
It's the second strikeout for Kruko and no runs come in for the Reds. And we go to the top of the third in a 2 nothing game. The, the uh, Giants leading by two with Chili Davis in the top of the order to face Seaver. He gets a 4-9 batting left. That is going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. He has a 1-E-12. That is a 5. I'm pretty sure that's an out, and it is. So he goes, um, he goes six to three, one down, and Jeff Leonard up. He gets a two nine, and that is going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. He doubled last time, so he's one for two on the day. And Will Clark, Will Clark gets a six twelve batting left. And that will be a fly ball to left field. The left fielder is a 3E3. That is a 10. And that is going to be on the E3 rating. We'll roll that. It's an 11. I don't like that. I don't like the looks of that. It's going to be, no, it is going to be a fly ball. So he flies out. F7. We go to the bottom of the third. And it is 2-0. San Francisco, over the 1986 San Francisco Giants leading the 77 Reds, 2-0. And Dave Concepcion is the batter, the eighth place hitter for the Reds. That is going to be a 5-9 batting right. And that is going to be a fly to left. Which brings up Tom Terrific, Tom Seaver. It's only 2-0, they'll keep him in. He is a hitter, 6 and that is a 210, which is a single. So Tom Terrific gets a board. He gets the uh, first hit for the Reds. Tom Seaver does, is what I'm saying. Joe Morgan is the batter. He gets a 28. That is going to be a home run. So a two run home run is going to tie the game right here. which is unfortunate because I don't have another two. I lost my other two. So hopefully they can get another run here. <laughs> um, Ken Griffey is up. There's one down. And that is a 4-7 batting left. Is going to be a ground ball to second. Their second baseman is a 2-E-20. That is a 9. A 9? No, it's going to be on the air rating, and it's a 20. So... Four on a 20 is going to be an E1. So let's see. That is going to be, yeah, that's going to be an error. And he is aboard with an error by the second baseman, E4. There is one out. And Pete Rose is the batter. 4-7 for Pete Rose, batting left, and that is going to be a ground ball second. He is a, what did I just say he was? He is a 2-E-20. That is a 16. 16-2 16 and two is a ground ball double play. So, um, Pete Rose grounds into a double play. And I will have to write a two on the back of this because we don't have, as I mentioned, we don't have a two. We don't have another two. I was hoping, I was hoping to avoid a situation where it was tied at two, but that's exactly what we've got. So the Reds will get that two and we'll put it right there. And, um, We go to the top of the fourth in a 2-2 game, tied up on a two-run home run by Joe Morgan for the Reds. Candy Maldonado is the batter for San Francisco. He gets a 6-9, um, and he would be batting, and he's batting right, and that is going to be a strikeout.
So Seaver strikes out his second man of the game. There's one down here in the fourth. And Bob Brenly is up. And Bob Brenly gets a 3-8, and that's going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. So he's out 6-3. There's two down. And Chris Brown is the back. Chris Brown getting a 4-9, batting right. That's a ground ball short. The shortstop is a 1-E-6. That is a 12. That is going to be on the E-6 rating, the air rating. That is a 7, probably an out. Let's see. That is, let's see, a uh, 7. So that is a ground ball. So no runs come in for the Giants in the fourth. We go to the bottom of the fourth. And the batter is going to be, for the Reds, is going to be George Foster. George Foster with a 2-4 is a ground, ground ball third. He's out 5-3. There's one down. Johnny Bench gets a 5-7. Hall of Famer Johnny Bench, 5-7 for a righty. And that is going to be a ground ball short. Their shortstop is a 2-E-18. That is a 17. That is going to be an out. Two away and Dan Dreesen. Dan Dreesen, 1-6. That is going to be a double. So the Reds got a man on second with two down. Second hit allowed by Kruko. Both pitchers have been pretty stingy, pretty good here. Cesar Geronimo gets a 4-7 batting left, and that is going to be a ground ball second. The second baseman is a 2-E-20. That is a 12. Uh, it's going to be on the uh, error rating of 20. That is a 4. And that will be an E-1. So... Runners are at the corners with uh, two down on the uh, one base error. And Dave Concepcion is the batter. And he gets a 6-8 batting right. And that is going to be a fly ball to right. So he flies out. And no runs come in for the uh, Reds. And we go to the top of the fifth in a 2-2 game with Rob Thompson up. He gets a 5-5 batting right, and uh, that's going to be a strikeout. Third strikeout for Seaver. Uribe is up. He gets a 5-9 batting left. That is a strikeout. So that's the third strikeout for the uh, fourth strikeout for Seaver. And that brings up the pitcher, um, Mike Kruko. And he gets a 5 8. And 5-8 uh, for a right-handed batter is going to be a ground ball to second. The second baseman is a 1-E-6. That is a 7. And that will be an out. We're going to the bottom of the fifth in a tie game. Tied up at two, and Tom Seaver is going to be the leadoff hitter here for the Reds. He gets a 3-7, and that is going to be a strikeout. So Kruko with his third strikeout. Morgan is up. 
He gets a 3-6, and that is a walk. So Morgan is aboard again. He has walked, homered, and popped out today. Ken Griffey is up. He gets a 1-5. That is going to be a walk. So Kruko losing a little control here after striking out the first guy in the inning. Pete Rose is the batter. He gets a 2-7. That's a walk. He walks the Kruka walks the bases loaded. You don't want to do that with a big red machine. They're going to leave the infield back, hoping to get out of this uh, inning with a uh, double play. George Foster is the batter. He is a candidate for that. 4-5, batting right. That is going to be a pop-out. Oh, wait a minute. That's going to be a line-out to second base, so he is out. But the bases remain loaded with two down, and Johnny Bench the batter. Johnny Bench gets a 4-7, batting right. And that's going to be a ground ball second. He is a 2E20. That is a 10. Uh-oh, that's going to be on the air rating. That is a 5. And that's going to be an E1. And a run comes in. The second baseman makes an error, which leads to the third run. for the Reds, and Dan Dreesen. Dan Dreesen with a 2-7, that's a fly to center. So we finally can take that off the board and put a three out there for the Reds, and they now lead this game three to two. A very good game between these two teams. Chili Davis, we're back at the top of the lineup in the top of the sixth for the San Francisco Giants of 1986. And he gets a 4-7 batting left, and that is going to be a strikeout. And that is a strikeout for Seaver. It is his fifth strikeout of the game. Jeff Leonard is up. Jeff Leonard getting a 2-6. That is going to be a line out to shortstop. And there's two down pretty quick. And Will Clark is up. And he gets a 4-7 batting left. And that's going to be a strikeout. So, uh, strikeout for Seaver. No runs come in. Um, for the Giants in the sixth, and we have a 3-2 lead for the Giants going, or for the Reds going to the bottom of the sixth, and Caesar Geronimo is up. They're looking to add to that lead. 5-9, batting left, and that's going to be a fly to right. There's one down, and that brings up Dave Concepcion. He gets a 5-10 batting right. And uh, that's going to be a... What is that? That is going to be an out. It is a fly ball center. Two down, and the pitcher is up. Tom Seaver, I'm going to leave him out there. He gets a 5-12, batting right. And that will be a, that's going to be a single. So Seaver gets another hit. Kruko gives up his, I think it's only his third hit, but, he has, but he's walked three guys. That's been his downfall, the big part of his downfall. Joe Morgan is up, back to the top of the lineup. 2-8 is going to be a home run again. So, 
Little Joe Morgan hits another home run, and so a costly, well, a costly hit allowed to the pitcher. Um, allows two more runs to come in. And Ken Griffey is the batter. 5-8, batting left. And that's going to be a strikeout. Kruko strikes out another man. But he allows two more runs to score for the Reds. Who now have a 5-2 lead. And we go to the top of the seventh. The Giants need to get, they need to try to break through on Seaver. Maldonado is the batter. 4 9 batting right. That is going to be a ground ball short. He is a 1 E6. That is a 9. That's going to be on the E6 rating. That is a 10. And that's going to be a um, ground ball. So he goes out 6-3, which brings up Brenly. He gets a 6-6 six, six batting right. That is going to be a fly ball to center. And the batter is Chris Brown. With two down and nobody on, he gets a 1-3. That is a single. So the Giants have a man aboard. That's only their, I've got second hit. I don't know if that's correct. Let's see. No, it's their third hit. Well, it's at least their third. Yeah, it is their third hit. And Rob Thompson is the batter. He gets a 4-4 batting right. That is going to be a single. It's a ballpark single. So they have two men on. They need to get a run right here, you would think. And Jose Uribe is the batter. He gets a 6-6 batting left, and that would be a fly ball to center field. So no runs come in. They still only have two runs. And we go to the bottom of the seventh inning, and Kruko will be out. So Kruko only goes six. And Frank Williams will be the reliever. Frank Williams in 1986 was three and one with a 120 earned run average. He allowed 21 walks and um, 35 hits in 52 innings. So we'll see how he fares. That's a lot of walks. So we'll see what happens. Um, The uh, yeah, the Reds are up, and uh, Pete Rose is the batter. He gets a four-four batting left, and that is going to be a single. So Williams allows a hit to the first guy he faces. Of course, that was uh, Pete Rose, though. And George Foster is the batter. He gets a 2-8. That is going to be a ground ball pitcher double play. So there's two down, nobody on. And the batter is Johnny Bench. And he gets a 5-7. And that'll be a ground ball second second baseman for the giants is a 2e20 that is a 20 and it is an out so no runs come in 
for the the uh, Reds. We go to the top of the eighth. Time is running out here for the Reds or for the uh, Giants. They're down by three. Uh, they're going to uh, pinch hit for Williams. So Williams will only go one. And the pinch hitter will be Harry Spillman. Harry Spillman in 1986 hit 287 in 94 at bats. And he gets a 110 against a righty that is going to be a single. So the pinch hitter comes on and does his job, getting a hit in the eighth to lead off. And uh, Chili Davis is the batter. And he gets a 4-6 batting left, and that's going to be a fly ball left. One away. Jeff Leonard is the batter. He gets a 6-6 six, six batting right, and that is going to be a fly to center. They can't get a break. These are uh, split hits and outs, and they're getting the outs. Will Clark is a batter, and uh, he gets 2-7, which is a single to center field. So there's two runners on. They're not going to try to send the runner because they, they need too many runs to send the, to, uh, send the runner. But they have two men on with two out and Maldonado out. And he gets a 5-10 batting right, and that's going to be a ground ball to third. The third baseman for the Reds is a 3-E-18. That is a 20. 20 and a 3 is probably an out, and it is. So no runs come in for the Reds. We go to the bottom of the eight. Or for the Giants. No runs come in for the Giants. And we're going to the bottom of the eighth. We do need another pitcher for the Giants. And that pitcher is going to be Juan Berenguer. Juan Berenguer in 1986 for the Giants was 2-3 and three with a 270 earned run average. You might know him from his days with the Tigers. But here he is on the Giants. And Dan Dreesen will be the guy that greets him with nobody on. And the Reds leading 5-2. to two. The Giants need, um, actually right here, or wait a minute, no, the, Red, the Reds are up. Um, the Reds would love to extend the lead, but they already have a three-run lead. It's 3-11, and Baron Gare is a righty. That's a ground ball second. One out, and Cesar Geronimo is up. He gets a 4-3 batting left, and that is going to be a fly to left field X. The left fielder is a 2-E-10. That is a 10. That is going to be on the air rating, and it's an air 10, so that isn't good. 8 is going to be... A fly ball. So he does fly out to left, which brings up Concepcion. And Concepcion gets a 3 8, and that is going to be a ground ball to the shortstop, 6 3. So no runs come in for the Reds. We go to the top of the ninth. The Giants have got to have uh, three runs right here. And they're going to try to go see where the distance with the batter being um, Brenly. And um, I don't know if we want to pinch hit for Brenly. We're not going to. We'll let him hit. He gets a 210. That is going to be an out. So that is a ground ball third. Brenly goes 5-3. They don't, the Giants don't really have a lot of good pinch hitters on the bench anyway. Spillman might have been it. 
Chris Brown is up. He gets a 4-9 batting right. That's going to be a ground ball short. He is a 1-E12. That is an 11. So it's going to be on the E12. Three. That might be an on base. It is an E1. So the shortstop makes an error. Thompson is the batter. He gets a 5-7 batting right. And that is a triple. It's a triple and it drives in one run. See, we're giving up a big hit there. And Uribe is the batter. He gets a 1-7. That is going to be a strikeout. So there's two down. And the pitcher is up, and they will pinch hit for the pitcher. Again, even though they don't really have any, any real good pinch hitters. They are going to pinch hit with Randy Kutcher. I'm loving that I can get him in the game. I loved Randy Kutcher. So Randy Kutcher is going to bat with a man 90 feet away, two down, and the Reds. In fact, I'll put the three out there right now. And the Giants down by two runs. And we have to roll that again. I'm going to roll this one. And that is a 6-9 batting right. And that's going to be a strikeout. So that's your final score. The Reds or the uh, Giants do manage to get a uh, they do manage to get a run in the ninth, and they make the score the final score five three. So it was a close game, and the better team did win. That's your final. You've got the uh, 1977 Reds five, the 1986 Giants three.